dude i have been fishing deep it is almost one o'clock water temperatures are 90 degrees it's summertime full blown miserable out there you got to deal with all the people out there but hey everybody tells you you should be fishing deep well in today's video i'm going to prove everybody wrong those fish might be deep but those aren't the fish that you want to target let's find out you know the feeling all too well you have a game plan in your head you wake up and you execute this game plan and it just fizzles out and you don't know what to do well that's the story that happened to me this day fishing i woke up with a plan to go towards the dam where i thought in my head there would be more oxygen in the water and these fish that were deeper would actually commit to a jig commit to a minnow and i would be able to put more fish in the boat because i was fishing deeper water than i'm able to find down in the river so i loaded the boat up went down to the 378 bridges put in at the boat ramp cost me 10 bucks to put in which is outrageous in my opinion went fishing i find fish on brush i find fish on the docks there's a couple fish on these bridges and i fish four hours never got a bite never had any commit they would come up look at the minnow come up look at the jig just nothing so i loaded the boat up and went back to little river now when i got to little river i still fished deep i fished the bridge i got a couple at the bridge but i always catch them at that bridge so that one don't really count and I went and fished more deeper brush piles that I have down in Little River. But what ended up happening, I was searching for new brush and I kept seeing bait fish in 10 to 12 feet of water. Now this is six hours I haven't got a single fish in the boat from fishing deeper water like you're supposed to do in the summertime. So lo and behold, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go check out this brush pile that's in 12 to 14 foot of water. Pull up to it. First cast, we, we end up with this fish right here. No freaking way. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are not going to believe this. Dude, I have been fishing deep. It is almost one o'clock. And I have been fishing 20 to 35 foot all morning. Oh yeah, that's a chunker right there. What I did, I switched angles. Cause I was throwing from the bank to like the left and I came out here so I could see better with the live scope. Cause the sun was hitting on it. I didn't know I was already recording. <laughs> As a stud right there. Oh. 
nice one right there guys especially this time of year pound and a quarter <laughs> number 10 now as you can tell from my reaction to catching this fish I just spent so much I mean the, the time frame for this is this fish was caught around noon 12 to 14 foot of water water temperatures 89 degrees why are these fish up there why are these fish more active than the fish that's deep that's what I want to explain so this is a Saturday so in your head what is a Saturday entitled for a fisherman a Saturday for a fisherman is fishing water that isn't so overly populated with people that you're able to actually fish so what ended up happening is there were so many pontoon boats that I'm gonna throw show throughout this video going back and forth back and forth back and forth causing waves now what these waves were doing were pushing oxygen towards the bank and what I mean by that as those waves hit the bank it's producing bubbles and more oxygen and these waves are actually pushing the bait fish that's in 15 to 20 feet to 12 to 10 feet so the crappy that is in 10 to 15 feet have bait versus deeper I couldn't really find bait all the bait were pretty much up shallow that I could find so the crappy that were in these shallower brush piles were more active to bite at that given time because a there was more oxygen so they weren't so sluggish b there was a lot of bait pushed up making them feed and c i have no idea like these crappy were probably six foot under the surface so they were like boiling pretty much <laughs> but that's my take on it you know if you get out there in this deeper water and you just can't get your crappy to commit start checking shallow shallow is not out the game all year long I have found fish in five to ten feet of water when the water temperatures were in the 40s and now this summer I have found fish 10 to 15 foot when the water temperature is 90 degrees that's fishing you know with the power of technology you're able to figure this stuff out so I don't get why a lot of people are against it <laughs>